Assassination in Afghanistan. A top Afghan peace negotiator was gunned down Sunday on his way to work. This is seen as a major blow to Kabul's efforts to broker peace with Taliban insurgents. CNN's Nick Payton Walsh joins us live from Afghanistan's capital with more about this assassination and what it means for the government's efforts. Nick. Uh, Malvi Asala Rahmani was shot dead at about 9.30 this morning in central Kabul on his way to work by gunmen who then fled the scene. The Taliban have denied uh, their role in this assassination, but it's fair to say in the announcement of their summer campaign uh, of a few weeks ago, they said that such members of what's known as the High Peace Council, like uh, Asala Rahmani, would be targets for assassination. So you can read in many different ways their choice of denying the involvement in this killing today. Perhaps they didn't want to be seen as being associated with the death of a popular figure like Mr. Rahmani, or, of course, that denial opens up the possibility to conspiracy theories in the region of maybe other enemies of the peace process between the Afghan government and the Taliban perhaps being involved in this death. As I say, Mr. Rahmani was involved in the High Peace Council, which is set up by President Hamid Karzai to try and get this peace process going with the insurgency. It's not been going particularly well in the past few months. Certainly, direct talks between the United States States and the Taliban faltered when the Taliban said they wanted to pull out in March, wanting the Americans to clarify their positions. There have been rumors in the past that uh, former Taliban officials like Mr. Rahmani continue contacts with leaders of the insurgency and that kind of informal background chatter that's said to be going on over the past few years. But certainly I think today's assassination is more a case of a popular and senior figure being gunned down in the center of what should be one of the safest cities here in Afghanistan than really necessarily in itself an immediate blow to an ongoing peace process that seems to have been in trouble in the past few months, Natalie. Right, and at a time that Karzai is looking to take over more control of the government uh, uh, away from NATO. So, uh, you know, there's so many complexities to uh, think about, but certainly this was an extremely complex time for him. Certainly. I mean, today is supposed to be not the retaking part of the government, but uh, President Karzai is set to announce uh, what's known as the third tranche of transition for different parts of the country. Slowly over the past year, Afghan security forces have been taking the lead in security away from ISAF and NATO, as it were, stepping to the front of security operations in now 50% of the country. Today, we're going to see President Karzai or his advisors announce the third wave of provinces being handed over, cities being handed over, and it's all about making Afghan security forces ready for that eventual NATO withdrawal in 2014. Today, we are warned by Afghan officials. We may hear names of provinces and regions which are particularly troublesome, where the insurgency are known to have a reasonable stronghold. One name frequently heard, and of course nothing's official until it comes out of the mouth of President Hamid Karzai, is Kandahar City, formerly a Taliban stronghold, the birthplace of Taliban leader Mullah Omar, and certainly a place where I think uh, the insurgency would like to think they still have a strong uh, presence, despite in the past few years ISAF pushing in there to push them on their back foot. So we're waiting to hear today precisely which parts will form part of this handover. All of this about trying to explain to the Afghan people people and the American people quite how Afghan security forces take the lead, particularly ahead of a vital summit later on this month in Chicago where NATO is supposed to lay out its contributions of money and troops for the years ahead here. So a key day, this announcement by President Karzai clearly overshadowed by a key assassination in the center of Kabul.